Hi, welcome to a video of my free market finds for Saturday, um, July 15th, 2023. Went to the flea market. It took off really slowly, arrived there at 6.42 a.m. Uh, after looking through a few lanes, I found a biography by uh, Boulle Noir, George Thurston, and to la vie. And, um, was just uh, yeah, yeah but that he he died of a uh, colon cancer, but he was a big big disco uh, singer uh, star in the mid 17s in Quebec. I'm looking for the photos. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch of photos there. Look at the cover. And anyway, uh, so despite all the doodling, uh, well, dedication, not not by the artist, just whoever gave this book to someone else in 2007. Anyway, uh, it was just a dollar. I was willing to pay two bucks. They, they asked a dollar, paid a dollar. So, for a while, I was walking through the flea market with only that in my bag. Another uh, guy had a bunch of these uh, reusable Dollarama bags. They're actually pretty, pretty practical to put LPs or other things. And the fifty cents each, I took uh, two, just like that, just, just for fun. So after those two purchases. Uh, I found this. I thought my dad needed more, but actually we have plenty. We put our leftovers in there and stuff. Uh, just an empty margarine container. Lay the cheap lady was. I w wanted three bucks for this. I offered two bucks. She said yes. My dad was told me didn't need any anymore. I didn't know. Um, so I assume uh, anyway. Big so two bucks. Uh, the next purchase was amazing. Now, now it started getting more interesting. It was way past 8 a.m. So yeah, it took a while to that before it, it, it took off. But somebody was selling uh, old stuff and, and stuff that uh, his late father had. And his late father was very handy. And he made this miniature version of one of his own uh, pieces of furniture with scraps of wood his, his late father around 55 years ago, so we're talking about the late 60s, built himself this this, this amazing piece of uh, folk art. It's amazing. I love it. The more I looked at it, the more in love I was with it. I, I, you know, I, I was trying to leave it behind. I just couldn't even leave his, uh, his table. So oh, no, I have to buy it. It was twenty dollars for this. It was folk art. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with it. That's my favorite find of the the day. Twenty dollars. Wow, I, I really love it. A miniature, uh, whatever you call these. Not a desk, but a uh, anyway, a piece of furniture. I don't have the term. Uh, what was the f next find? Oh yeah. That was amazing. I saw an old uh, wooden toolbox and I saw some jars and I went <gasps> and then I started looking. There we go. I, I didn't even clean it yet. It's filthy. We have with the bobo front and, and, and back labels. Well, that I should be about a craft. So this is between 1971 and, and 1978. That I've been looking for for this specific jar with this label, and it, thank goodness it, it's smooth, it's not crunchy. Uh, I have one, but it has some mold at the back of the label. This one, I'm hoping there's no mold. I haven't emptied the contents yet to to check with a flashlight and see to make sure that the label is okay. I'll try to fix the corner there, but yeah, finally I got I got this. I was so happy. It still has the the, la the labels rarely survive. They usually remove the labels before they start putting stuff in. Well, they used to. And then right next to it, Cheese Whiz. I couldn't believe it with the right font. The early 70s font. With the, the, the curved W. I couldn't believe it. Wow, that's rare. That's really rare. Oh, what's the date here? Uh, ah, 19... Best before June 17th, 1977. Yeah, that works. That's exactly what they, they looked like when I was a kid. So that's probably from 75, 76. Jeez, was there was a third one. It was broken when I found it. It was Miracle Whip. Uh, no, not as important because I, we, we didn't buy Miracle Whip back, back in the 
70s. We, we, we bought it a few times and much later. But then, okay, so I, I, I said, okay, I hope it's not more than 20 bucks for both. And I, how much? I said, 10 bucks for both. Perfect. I gave 10 bucks for both. I was so happy. Half. So, two, two items that I paid half of what I was willing to pay for these jars and that book here. So, this, this was I I was really excited. And then my, uh, my day wasn't over. Uh, another table I was looking at really, really damaged, crappy records. Thank goodness I stopped to check just to make sure. Because as I was looking at records, I hear somebody in the aisle uh, saying, All right, I have 400. I uh, start speaking like if I was trying to tell me that he had 400 records back home and he wanted to sell them to me. And he starts naming a few names. And I said, oh, no, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Thank you. I leave it like that. I finished a little stack of, of crappy records I had and I start walking in the same direction he was walking. I, I reach past him and I just, I have the bad habit of talking out loud to myself and I was just saying to myself, oh I really need to finish. I was, I was doing my last round before I went to run my uh, son Saturday errands, groceries. So I was just talking, so I, as I was passing him I was just talking to myself out loud and he thought I was uh, uh, talking to him. So he starts talking back to me again about the records and it sounded like well, he didn't know what to do with them, he wanted to get rid of them. So I said, oh, you mean you, you were trying to get rid of them? He said, yeah, yeah, it would have been free. Oh, okay, so uh, because he said it was 400 of them, so I took his coordinates and I uh, said, uh, he said, we have to go, I, I had to be there before 1.30 p.m. today. So, uh, okay, perfect. I don't want to point my camera, I don't want to uh, reveal. So I, I, bought, I kept going uh, one more time before I ran the errands and I, I found one record. Uh, it was a bit pricey, but I, I, I'm sick of I was sick of not having this in my collection. Uh, my growing Rolling Stones collection is still incomplete, of course, but this was a huge hole in my collection. It, it felt ridiculous not to have black and blue. So I paid a whole whopping ten dollars for this. The record seems okay. It might be a tiny little airline scratch, very short one. I'm not sure. The, as you can see, the uh, the inner sleeve has a split in it, but the record is pretty good. I've seen worse, and decided to splurge ten bucks on it and said, okay, now I have it. The only the only other huge hole in my Stones collection. Uh, in terms of a significant album that's not in my collection is a uh, goat's head soup. I have to find goat's head soup. Then the rest won't take. Uh, I'll be able to take my time. A lot of the early albums I don't have. I, I don't have many uh, of their early stuff, but I, I am looking for it as well. But I, 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 I don't know. I just splurged ten bucks. For for a lot of you, uh, ten bucks is okay for a Rolling Stone record. To mm. In that condition, I mean, last year I bought, I paid ten bucks for uh, Led, uh, Led Zeppelin's uh, Houses of the Holly in mint condition. That was worth ten bucks. This is uh, five would have been perfect. Oh, and I did pass a, an Elvis record I need, but it was still rough and a few scratches, and there was a big tape on the cover. Rust about by Elvis Presley. I'm still missing Rust about and his hand in mine. And then I have all the albums. Uh, no hurry. I'd rather. I'm sick of buying, uh, paying for place orders. So then I come back. Then uh, I mean, I finish my errands, come back, uh, take, put the groceries in the fridge. Call, call the man that I met earlier, and uh, after checking where he lives, it, it's a 30-minute ride. Decide to go, and uh, I came back with all the stuff. Turns out it's a lot of garbage. But he was uh, chatting with him and everything was a lot of fun. He said it's, it was his late mother's records. I doubt it. I, most of it, yes, but I suspect there were leftovers or crap from collectors because, first of all, most of the records don't have the uh, inner sleeves. I was hoping to at least get like a 10 cents worth each paper sleeve. I, I, I'm willing to pay 10 cents per the paper sleeves. Uh, a lot of records that should have a paper sleeve don't. But uh, anyway, the free records, it was fun going through them, but uh, yeah, not much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the more interesting ones here. And I will let you go if you don't want to see the rest. And uh, well, I'll only flip quickly through the rest afterwards. So I've put the more interesting ones here. 
Uh, let's see what we have. And uh, there's a few good ones at the very end here. Uh, sometimes it's just a kitschiness of the... It's mostly French-Canadian country with a few other things. Diane Robert, I viens partager ma vie. And the titles are funny, like... Uh, here we have Dormir. Et je te réveille. <laughs> I laughed out loud when I read that. Like s sleeping and I woke you up. <laughs> this is just a funny uh, cover. Very kitschy. Catherine mm -hmm. Novadente might be interesting. <laughs> this one made me laugh. Eddie Bizier. On m'appelle Playboy. <laughs> His purple and whatever color that is. Uh, <laughs> ensemble. So, oh, don't see the titles. Uh, this has a detachable um, sheet of photos in the back. It's still in the shrink wrap, so usually these sheets are removed from the back of the, the cover. Um, this I kind of like. Yeah. And the <laughs> back is white. It's interesting. It just covers a uh, main passport to paradise. So we have rock cha cha cha. And one is cha cha chinois, Chinese cha cha called ma jong. <laughs> I'm really curious about that. So that made me laugh. Kai Warner's music box. I don't know what he plays. Is it accordion, an organ, whatever? But it's a bunch of uh, remakes or covers. <laughs> And <laughs> there's Rock Your Baby, I shot the Sure Sugar Baby Love. Uh, My Boy Lollipop, uh, The Night Chicago Died. <laughs> so I'm really curious to check that one out. And the cover has a nice jukebox on it. Oh, a French Canadian comp. Denise Aimant Timousse from the 50s. This is Kitschi. Uh, he used to be a radio uh, DJ. Very, and he, he turned out to be the manager for uh, Rock Voisin, a big star, and a French Canadian star who uh, made it big in France. Anyway, um, yeah, I turn. Oh God, he's ugly. Oh crap. The problem is there's a few scratches on the record. Les frères Grenier. I don't remember why I put. The, oh yeah, <laughs> so cute. Le diable dans la ville, la pied mariton, la petite jument. Oh my goodness. Madame Balduc, copies of, there's a third copy, a uh, worse copy somewhere in there. A lot, like t three, four copies of the same record, that's why I'm not sure, I don't think it was all his mother's record. Uh, Etienne Bouchard chante uh, Françoise Godesme, I'm really curious. Jodassin. On est western, Edouard Gaston Gay. <laughs> there's a funny title in there. Uh, Sur mon skidou, <laughs> on my skidou. Elle n'avait que 16 ans, she was only 16. <laughs> And he's standing in a uh, record store. We can see a whole bunch of uh, a rack of 45s from the early 70s, judging by the label. Uh, so that's very interesting. Just to, uh, for the photo there. This is just a funny cover. Therese Bassé. <laughs> just, a <laughs> it's just a funny kitschy cover. I don't know. And you, you, yeah, no, no funny titles on that one. This is amazing, okay? Um, so it's not the music or the musicians that's interesting, although these musicians were in Europe, I think, yeah, France, and then they came to Canada in the 60s. The thing is that uh, this is taken in a uh, old Montreal restaurant. This guy right here, and I couldn't believe my eyes, this is Yvon Deschamps, a, a huge monument of, of French Canadian stand up comedy. And he, before he even started his um, uh, monologous career, in the 60s, he had the one or more restaurants. Uh, and in 67, of course, it was Expo 67, lots of customers. And then Expo 67 ended, and he went bankrupt in the, a few months later. But So that's, that's how we... Uh, my dad agrees that this is Yvonne Deschamps. It's unmistakably him. So this is an awesome cover. This is well, René Simard, a uh, child uh, singer in the 70s. This is his first record. It's just that even though a lot of these are in rough shape, this one is in terrific shape. Oh, I don't know why that. Uh, that's a mistake. It shouldn't be there. 
This is an interesting cover, but I already have it, unfortunately. Rosaire Laplante, alias le chef Lumo. Real Canadian. It's just a cool cover. But I already have it. This I, I put it aside just because it's sealed. So I probably will have a protective sleeve in there. Uh, doesn't matter what it is, just instrumental music. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the presidential year, 6063 original speeches. I think it has a few scratches on it. This I, uh, yeah, all this cover. I already have this. This is Michel Louvain, a crooner, a French Canadian crooner. He died recently. Uh, it's just a, a compilation, but it's a rare compilation. I've never seen it before. Cool photo right there. It's just an amazing, and it's good shape. Great photo there. I love the yellow and, and green lights there. Just, I never, never see that. This, I don't know what it is, but I put the. <laughs> like, like, there's one, two, three. <laughs> Four copies of whatever that is, but this one is sealed, so I can play one of the others and see if it's any good. And then wait, well, I don't think it is like this. <laughs> Thero et leur copain. So that's probably the guy's name is probably. Uh, oh, Thero signifie le nom de Thérèse Lebrun et Rosaire Le Maire. But I. What? That's a woman? Holy crap! Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, this is, I love the cover. Gérard Lajoie au Carnaval. And you have Bonhomme Carnaval on the cover. It's a great uh, photo. I didn't have that one. Shrink wrap still on it. Just a Vive le Québec libre! President Charles Legault came to Quebec in 67. And he, he had a, a famous, famous speech where he said, Vive le Québec libre! And people flipped their lids. They was like, ah! Anyway, this is a record of it. Actually, it's a reissue. It's not the original cover. Discolor Western Les Bel Air. So that's a little bit more interesting. I'm not sure if I have this one or not, but it's in better shape. Uh, that I think I have it, but this one is in better shape. Now we get to like what's left. Uh, Les Napoléons à Gogo. So this record goes for 30 plus dollars. Maybe more could go up to a hundred dollars. The price is all over the place on on discogs. Unfortunately, I already have two copies of this, uh, so yeah. But it's worth something. And then I I, I was ecstatic for, for ten minutes until I looked at the closer of the record under the light of my bedroom. Saw some little tiny tiny little scratches. Ah oh, crap. I thought this really, really, uh, well, th this is a Prague, a French Canadian Prague record. You know, I mentioned Yvonne Deschamps earlier on his first monologue uh, records. There were some musicians. Vos voisins were the musicians accompanying him. Anyway, uh, I have two copies that are in condition. And this I thought was perfect. It doesn't have the inner uh, lyric sheet, but then I saw some, he even mentions Yvonne Deschamps. Um, so yeah, uh, it might be worth something anyways, but the cover is clean, but I still don't have the layer sheet. Oh, and this is just a Marcus Ravid box set. What's really funny though, and we'll finish with that for those who don't want to stick around for the rest. Uh, I actually will make a separate part 2 video for the rest. Uh, <laughs> inside the records I found this, and this is hilarious to me. Uh, okay, so we have this... <laughs> So fucking funny. Sorry about this worry. Uh, with the header, Jocelyne Ducharme, Montréal. Dear Donald, unfortunately, things did not work out. <laughs> it's a dumping letter. I guess this is what we call destiny. I have no regrets knowing you... Knowing you was without any doubt something very special. The few times we spent together were very precious moments. Uh, what's that? So, snow, and and very precious moments, and I will cherish the memories. I wi I wish you good. I wish you luck, happiness, and love. Sincerely, Jocelyn. P.S. Please do not call. It it would not make any good to either of us. <laughs> <laughs> he saved it and it ended up in re <laughs> records. So that's so funny to me. <laughs> <A dump laughs> <because> <laughs> of all the things you can find, 
in the record. Uh, dump. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't wait to make a tweet about that. So, uh, all kinds of weird things have been found in records. I found some child uh, teenager drawings of a, a car or a guy in a car. But this is really funny to me. Anyway, <laughs> to stay just inside the record. Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Well.